Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are joined by our friend and entertainment personality, Shanika Taylor, honey, who's here to give us the inside scoop on everything Hollywood. Now, honey, I have to welcome you back. Yes, thank you. you. I'm, I'm excited. Just you living in color, honey? Oh, yeah. Is that Added. what you're giving the people? All the colors. I like that. And I the like tea. That. And the tea. Well, and the tea. Let's just talk about this tea with Usher Raymond, honey. They got him okay. back in the news again? Yes, our beloved Usher. You know, this breaks my heart. You what? know, so basically, Usher, he tried to pull a Beyonce, okay, and drop a surprise album. It was a trap and stock inspired album called The A, which actually was an F because it flopped. Well, Ooh. black Twitter, they did not like it. They canceled them immediately, started giving reviews, and then all of a sudden we see these fake pages going around defending not only the album but his midlife crisis. So black Twitter, immediately they speculated, hey, this must be Usher in his camp. Mm. So now they think Usher is behind the fake pages defending his, his album sales, and that's ridiculous. You know, I gotta tell you, Black Twitter is relentless. Oh, they don't play. They don't have a soul. No. <laughs> I gotta tell you that. No, I, they don't. They have no soul. But look, if you are Usher and you are of this status, okay, we're talking about an icon. Yes. You know, we don't have time for you to be stooping that low but, now. But hold on, here's the thing. Can anyone just have a little bit of space for a little bit of a mistake? Not so in black Twitter album, life. You will then. One mistake, you're, it's a wrap. We and tell then you all. there's that. Well, let's talk a little bit about someone who is celebrating a beautiful soul. That will be Amber Rose. She just yes. had a surprise birthday party. Amber Rose, is her 30. it was her 35th birthday party. You know, she has um, a new boyfriend now mm -hmm. of course oh, another the one be in love with her she got some type of sprinkles she just Hello? sprinkle on them because they all be in love okay with well her. now this is a <laughs> this is a dev uh, jam executive mm. his name is alexander a e. edwards this okay. was a ciroc sponsored event so he threw the surprise birthday party brought all her closest friends out her son sebastian he was there mm. it was a great time amber yeah. is crying on camera yeah. but wait she throws a little shade though What's so she, she goes in her heartfelt speech she actually throws a love word around so she's in love and she says I had to get through a lot of losers just to get to him. So that's Kanye, that's Wiz, that's Eddie Murphy. What is I, it? You she know got what? Eddie on the list too? You I didn't know, know she Eddie dated was... Eddie Murphy? Girl. Well, I want to roll on then, because uh, they say they got, something going. <laughs> they got something going on with Girl. Cardi B's sister. Hennessy. What is Hennessy. happening with Hennessy? Yeah, no, Hennessy is glowing right up okay. with her sister. Oh, she looks yes, pretty. Yes, beautiful. She's out here being this fashion icon she is. Not only is she slaying, the mm -hmm. people are paying. She's out runways in Italy. She is doing a great job just owning this brand and really being a fashion icon. Mm -hmm. You see her um, a lot of times. She has a unique style. She's not afraid to be bold. She's not afraid to be different. So go ahead. Hennessy. Now, what's going on? People, what, what's the problem? I like that Hennessy is going here because some people drink Hennessy and then you got her going ahead and making her bags <laughs> as, as Hennessy. So okay. I like that. But uh, Dave Chappelle, they're, they're saying that Dave Chappelle has had something to say about Kanye West. Now, I, I, I want to think that whatever he said is in support of Kanye, maybe? Well, Kanye West is his friend, so Dave Chappelle <clears> during <throat> his comedic set in Ireland, um, a fan from the crowd asked him about Kanye West, saying, okay. you know, what do you feel about Kanye's nonsensical, erratic rants that he okay. always makes? And Dave Chappelle was like, look, that's my boy, that's mm -hmm. my friend. However, he believes that he is bipolar. He does mm -hmm. think he has some mental instability to him, mm -hmm. and he needs to seek help. And that's mm -hmm. what friends should do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta tell the truth. Yeah. You know, Malcolm X said, where there's no critic, there's likely to be no success. The problem mm -hmm. I have is everybody out here that is supporting Kanye that knows he's doing wrong if you're his friend and you're not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. You're just having a man look a fool mm -hmm. on national television. So what you're saying is that they're criticizing a man, but they're not offering up any help. No help at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's basically what Dave Chappelle has to say. And yeah. you know, he just basically needs to calm his man down though. All we right. need to keep him off cameras. All right, well, let's talk about who has been on cameras. I saw someone uh, the other day, uh, Pete. Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. <sighs> I, I, I thought, I was like, did they get back together? And then, so I guess I saw the old footage then. I yeah, saw, the old okay, footage. Old okay, footage. okay, Pete Davidson okay. and Ariana Grande are not back together. Their okay. split is still here, okay? And um, Pete did a, a, co a comedy set mm -hmm. um, during the Judge and um, the Jude, I'm sorry, Jude okay. of America okay. a show out in West Hollywood. So he did his first appearance and he starts making these jokes, saying basically, oh, I need a roommate, because you know that, Nor that New York City, that $16 million house, that was Ariana Grande's funding. That wasn't from uh, Pete's. Ooh. So he out here homeless. And see, this Ooh. is the problem. See, the, Maybe they spent, see the problem. No, but to see the problem I have is you out here buying 93K type of rings, 
and you can't even get a house to support your shelter during this storm Ooh. that we're having here. So, uh, listen, he... But did she give the ring back so he can go have some okay. rent money? Oh, that's what she needs to do, but I think she kept the ring. She kept the house. He covered up the tattoo, but you out here joking around, but you looking like the joke. Ooh. So, you, he just needs to just sit down, for real, well. and get his life together. And that's why I say people need to be very cautious about these relationships you're going to mm -hmm. and these joint finances. Because if this relationship splits, you could be out here on the side. But do your joint finances when you're just dating? Probably nah, not. No, you shouldn't do no, that. No, no, But what I do want to say is uh, Miss Rihanna felt very flattered on the other evening. So what did Drake say? So, Drake, he made an appearance during the HBO show, LeBron James' HBO show, The Shop. Oh, yes. And he makes some claims um, about, you know, having a life with Rihanna, how he has some love interest for her. But look, here's the thing. Sources say Rihanna, from her camp, they're saying that she's like, you know, maybe if the timing is right, that they could have something together. Now, here's the thing, Adonis. How are you gonna have a family? How are you gonna even want to have a family with somebody who ain't even out here claiming their family? Shanika, girl. We need to know that's who Adonis a, is and where Adonis at. That's a, a whole cup of coffee and You're tea. Right. Let me just say that. Right, but and listen, cappuccino. I'm trying to tell it. you, honey. But it's always a pleasure to have you here. Listen, for anything you want to know about the Hollywood tea, give the scoop. Shanika has it all, and you can Absolutely. find it at all, on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV.